All right. Welcome to boot camp. Um, there I am. All right. So today um, I have a good workout plan for us. Um, we're going to be spelling out beach. So today's our theme. It's summertime. We all like the beach. So we're going to spell that out today. Um, we're going to do three rounds of this workout. We're going to do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Um, and then we don't need any equipment, uh, but definitely we need enough space for us to lay down basically. So if you want to grab a mat, um, so we will really, that would be really helpful. So if you have a mat, go ahead and grab that, get ready. Um, and I'm going to show y'all what we're going to be doing today. Um, so we're going to start off. So I guess we're spelling beaches. Um, so our first movement is going to be burpees. So we're starting off strong here. Um, so for our regular burpee here, we're going to have our feet hip apart. We're going to jump up, plank the hands down, out into a plank. And then we're going to do our push up. And then we're going to jump back forward, hold it on the ground, and jump again. Uh, if jumping is not our thing today, it's not a problem. We're just going to plant the hands, walk them out, and do our plank, and then walk them back up and stand on up. So that's going to be our B. And then for the E, we're going to do some nice and slow eccentric squats. So eccentric is the lowering portion of the movement. So we're going to do some squats here. We're going to stand with our feet hip width apart. Toes pointed forward. We're going to come down nice and slow. One, two, three. And then we're going to push the ground in and stand back up. So from this angle, we're coming down nice and slow. One, two, three. And then push the ground away with that heel big toe, little toe. So that's going to be our E. And then for the A, we're going to do alternating reverse lunges. So we're going to be at the top of our space. We're going to step back with one foot, knee over the second toe with the front foot, chest over the arch of the front foot, push the ground away, stand back up, and hold the other side. So alternate here, going back and forth. So that's going to be our A. And then for the C, we're going to do a bear crawl fold. So the C is the crawl. Um, so for that, we're going to start off on our hands and our knees. We're going to tuck our toes. We're keeping that core nice and tight. We're gonna push those knees about an inch off of the ground. I feel like the black on black is hard, so I'll go here for a second. So on the hands and knees, pushing up so those knees are hovering off the ground, and we're gonna hold just like this. So that's gonna be our C. And then we're gonna finish out our H. We're gonna do a hollow hold. So for that, we're gonna be nice and straight with our arms and our legs, and we're going to hold in this position. So we want to keep that core nice and tight, um, really making sure that we're using the core to stay up. So I like to pretend like we have a zipper going through the front of the torso. We're going to zip that core up together, bringing each side of the six back together, holding that in that position. So that is going to be our whole workout for today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. And we're gonna start off with the world's greatest stretch. So we're gonna be in the top of our space. And we're gonna go ahead and interlace our fingers and grab onto the right knee. Pull the right knee towards the chest. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, step back into a reverse lunge. Our back leg is gonna stay straight. Our hands are going inside of the front foot. Keep that back leg nice and straight. This is going to open up our hips for our squats and lunges. We're going to take a nice big deep breath. And we're going to exhale, opening up towards the front leg. So left leg is in front, so the left hand goes towards the ceiling. We're looking at our hands. We're getting that rotation through the neck, through our back. We're going to take a big deep breath. And we're going to exhale, plant the hand outside of our front foot, push our hips up into our nice hamstring stretch. So our hips are towards the ceiling. We can scoot that back leg a little closer. We're going to open up the front leg here. And we're going to go ahead and on our next exhale, we're going to bring our feet together, push the ground away, standing on up. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to interlace our fingers, grab onto the right knee, Pull, oh, sorry, the left knee, hold the left knee towards the chest. 
We're going to take a nice big deep breath. And exhale, step back into the reverse lunge. Hands on the inside of our front foot. Keep that back leg nice and straight. Opening up those hips, nice big deep breath. And we're going to exhale, open up towards the front foot. Gaze past that thumb. Nice big deep breath. And we're exhaling, planting the hand outside of our front foot. Push ourselves up into our hamstring stretch. Nice big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away, and stand our up. Awesome. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make our way onto the ground here on the hands and knees. And we're gonna do a little bit of rocking back and forth. So we're gonna take our knees a little bit wider than hip width here. We're keeping that core nice and tight so that back is staying flat. And we're gonna inhale, rock back, bring our glutes to the heels. And exhale, coming back up. And we're gonna rock back, keeping that back flat. Keep that core tight. Back to that starting position. We're gonna do a few more of these here. We can go at our own pace. This is gonna help us open up our hips for our squats and get our core ready for our whole hold. And we're gonna go ahead and do one more rock. And once we return to our hands and our knees, we're ready to rock and roll. So, like I said, we're going to do, um, oh, sorry, we're only doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I got the time wrong. So we're doing 40, 20. Um, we're going to start off with burpees with that push up. We're going to do three rounds. I get the timer going here in three, two, one, and go. So starting off with burpees, I know it's a little bit, um, you know, of a hard one to start with, but that just means we're going to get over with sooner. So, Plant the hands, jumping back, keeping those elbows nice and tight in the push up. So when we're here, hands out in front, coming down, our elbows are staying nice and close, and then we're pushing back into that position here. Really important, making sure we're landing with our whole foot on the ground. So we're at the bottom of the squat, now we're coming, jumping up, landing nice and soft. Those knees are bent and the hips are bent as well. Three, two, one. All right, one round of our burpees are done. Next up, we're doing eccentric squats. So we're gonna lower ourselves to the ground for three seconds, push the ground away, stand back up. Three, two, one. So our feet are directly below the hips. We're coming down one, two, three, push the ground away and stand back up. So from this angle, our knees, or tracking past the second toe, but as the knees are coming forward, my hips are also moving back. So in the bottom, we're here, push the ground away. So we're only going as low as we can while keeping that form. We want to wear our logo proud. So squeeze that orange between the shoulder blades. We're going down nice and slow. And then push the ground away. So pushing through the heel, big toe, little toe is going to help us activate those glutes. Three, two, one, all right. Next up, we're doing those alternating reverse lunges. It's going to be at the top of our space, stepping back one leg at a time. And we want to feel this in our front foot. Three, two, one. So if my right foot is stepping back, my left leg is in front, I'm pushing through the left heel, big toe, little toe. We're not pushing off of that back toe. So my right foot is in front, my left leg goes back, pushing through that right leg. So I'm only feeling that in the right leg. Really important note here, as we step back, the foot is staying in line with the hip, not in line with the other foot. That's gonna make our stability off. We wanna step directly like we're stepping on railroad tracks. Stepping back, knee over that second toe, chest over the arch of that front foot. Three, two, one, all right. Next up, we're gonna do the bear crawl hold. So this one, not gonna lie, it's gonna be tough. 
We're gonna feel it everywhere. We're gonna feel our shoulders, our core, and our quads. All down the front of our bodies. Three, two, one. So on the hands and knees, tuck those toes, bring in our knees slightly above the ground. So like I said, we're gonna feel this in our shoulders, in our core. So we're bringing that belly button towards the spine. Our hands are directly below the shoulders, knees below the hips. If you need to take a second, reset, come to three, right back up. We want to keep that back nice and flat, so I like to imagine. Um, like if we're here, we're bringing the butt to the belly button, so that way the core is activated and the back is flat. Three, two, one. Great job. Those ones are tough, I know, but they're good for us because they're working our total body here. So next up, we're gonna do the hollow hold. So we're gonna be on our back. Three, two, one. All right, I'm not gonna lay all down all the way. So our legs are nice and straight. Our arms are straight. We can. Mm, that one's okay. So really keep that core nice and tight. Trying to keep those legs as straight as we can. My core is already shaking. We want to make sure that our legs are staying nice and loose. We just want to hold up with the core. So bringing each part of the six pack together. Great job. Like I said, on with the bear crawl holds, if we need to reset. Three, two, one. All right. Great job. I know those last two are a little bit challenging, um, but we only got to do that two more times. So starting back at the top of our space, we got burpees. Again, get you ready here. Three, two, one. So again, if we're not jumping, we're just placing our hands on the ground, walking one leg at a time, and then back, and then standing up. Um, if we also need to drop to those knees for the push-ups, do whatever we need to do to make sure we're getting the most out of the movement here. We're trying to do as many as we can. Good job. Keep pushing. We want to try and get more every time. Each round, sorry, each round. That's a weird thing. All right. Great job. Three, two. One, all right. We only got one more on where we to do. So some of those. Next up, we have our eccentric squats. So our feet apart. Catch our breath. Three, two, one. So we need coming past our toes, pushing through the heel, big to little toe. Keeping that core tight so our back is nice and flat. Nice and slow. And then really driving the root of the heel back to the little toe. So if you're just standing here, you drive the heels into the ground, you're going to feel your glutes are going to activate. That's why we want to drive through the ground to help us use those glutes here. It's a really great way to strengthen our legs, our core, our glutes. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have our alternating first lunges. So we're going to get the top of our space. And then we're going to do our bear curl hold and our hollow hold. Then we have one more round. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back, knees over the second toe, push the ground away. That chest is staying over the arch of our front foot. So what happens if our chest is up, we're gonna feel that in our back leg in the quad. When our chest is forward, we're gonna feel it in the front leg and the quads within the glutes. So our goal, we wanna feel this one in that front leg, not the back leg. We're not really, we are a little bit pushing off that back leg, but the minute we push off, we're only using the front leg. Here are three, two, one. All right. My next two favorite. We have pair for all holds. 
We're gonna be on the hands and knees. Our knees are just barely gonna be off the ground. We're getting ready here. Three, two, one. To tuck those toes. Keep that core nice and tight. Pushing through the ground. Focus on the breath. Every time we exhale, our core should be engaged a little bit more. Great job. I'm going to try and hold it as long as we can before we need to touch down for a second. Then count to three and it's right back up. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Great job. We're getting stronger every time we do that physically and mentally. All right, next up, we're doing that hollow hold. We're really trying to use the core versus the legs. Three, two, one. We're slightly lean back, bring those legs up, holding that core, so we're zipping that core up, bringing it together with that zipper. And if we act like that zipper is holding a string that holds our feet up, that's what we want to do. And yes, I struggle with this movement just like everyone else because I need to work on my core strength. All right, keep holding, keep breathing. Great job, finishing strong here. Three, two, one. All right. We got one more round to go, so we're gonna do this all one more time through. And then we'll cool down. We're ready to go with this lovely warm Tuesday. Three, two, one. All right, last time doing burpees. I'm not going on the mat this time because my foot got stuck. We're landing with that whole foot, doing that push up at the bottom. Job. Try and do the most burpees we can this round. We're finishing strong. Trying to really get that part right up here. We're working everything our arms, our legs, our core, our heart. We're doing it all here. Three, two, one. So you just catch your breath. I don't know if we're stuck hard. Burpees. Take quite some time. Also, if y'all want to challenge, talk through burpees because we're all right. Squats coming up. Three, two, one. Feet hip width. What I mean by hip width, directly below the hips. Coming down nice and slow. Pushing the ground away. Being careful that while we push the ground away, so we're here, we're driving up. If you notice, my hips are staying above my heels and shoulders, one straight line. When we push those hips forward, that's not what we want it to look like. We want it to look like this and keep that core tight and tuck that low back. Exhaling as we come up. Three, two, one. All right, it's on the squats. We got our alternating reverse lunges. And then a bear hold. And a hollow hold. And I might throw in a few little core movements at the end. Three, two, one. Step back, knee over the side toe. Pressing through that heel, big toe, little toe. Keeping that chest forward. Um, like I was kind of saying last time too, we will use our back leg a little bit, but we don't want to feel it in the back leg. So um, what I do, if I'm really not, um, I, my right side doesn't um, fire and engage like my left side does. So I make sure that I focus on it with my mind's most connection. When I push off my back foot, I stand up nice and slow with just that right leg to make sure I'm engaging the glutes fully. Three, Two, one. All right. Bear curl holds on 
Again, the knees. Get ready here. Three, two, one. For engaging that core, tuck those toes. Knees are just slightly off the mat. Every time you breathe, that core is getting engaged a little bit more. So we want to bring that belly button to our spine. Lock that in, zip the core up. We exhale active for breathing through a straw, bringing our core down and together. That's how we engage all of our core muscles here. This is actually a great pillar strength movement. Maybe we'll do this later today. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to Last movement here, we're going to do our hollow hold. And then right after that, we're going to hold the dead bug and then we'll pull down. So we got two more movements. I'm throwing one in last second. Keep you on your toes. Three, two, one. We're coming back. Breathing, keeping that core engaged. Oh, my, oh, my core is literally shaking. All right, great job. Keep breathing. Keep that core engaged. We're going to do a dead bug hold after this. We are going to stay on the ground. Like I said, I am going to throw this one movement at y'all. Been strong with some extra core work, as if we haven't already done enough. Three, two, one. All right, we got 20 seconds, and then we're going to hold the dead bug for the whole 40 seconds. And then we're going to stay on the ground for our pull down. So for the dead bug hold, we're going to keep those knees above the hips and the hands in the air, pressing the leg on into the ground. We're going to hold that. So three, two, one. So already on our back, we're zipping that core together. We're keeping the knees above the hips. Every time we exhale, we're really blowing into that straw. So our core comes down and together while our belly button is pressed into the ground. We want to keep that low back nice and flat. We shouldn't be able to fit our hands under there. That's how we know our core is activated. Great job. Keep holding. We're going to do a little bit longer here. Keep going. Finish strong. Three, two, one. And that is it for today's circuit. So go ahead, grab a sip of water if you need it. And we're going to go ahead and be on the ground on our backs for our pull down. And we're going to do a little bit of the figure four piriformis stretch. And so this is going to be um, a really good way to stretch out our glutes, stretch out our hips and our back. So we're starting off that left foot is going to be planted on the ground. The right ankle is going to come up with the left knee. If that tension feels good, you can go ahead and press on that knee. Go ahead and stay there. If you need a little bit extra um, tension, go ahead and interlace those fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin, we're pulling that knee towards the chest. We're gonna start to do a few big deep belly breaths here. So we're gonna go into the nose and into the belly. And we're gonna exhale, find away that tension. When we start to slow the breath down, it's gonna help us calm our heart rate down, calm the body down, get us ready to go and eat some lunch. Um, we're going to go ahead and do one more breath here. And after we have finished that exhale, we can gently release that foot back to the ground. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to take the left angle above the right knee. And if that tension feels good, you can go ahead and sit there. You can press on that knee a little bit. If you need a little bit extra tension, let's go ahead and interlace those fingers and grab either behind the knee 
or in front of the shin and pull that knee towards the chest. Take a nice big deep breath in through the nose. And exhale into the mouth, sign away any tension. We should really feel this stretch um, right outside of our glute here, right underneath, and that piriformis muscle. And that muscle can get pretty tight from sitting at the computer, or if you do a lot of cycling, or even walking, or hiking, or squats, or a lot of glute movement. Uh, it can get pretty tight, so it's going to help us open things up. We also might feel it a little bit in the hamstrings, or in the front of the hip. Um, so we're just really opening everything up here, kind of release some tension. And let's go ahead and do one more deep breath. And when we're ready after the exhale, we can gently bring both feet to the ground. And feel free to stay um, laying on your back, or you can roll over onto your side, return to a seated kneeling. Or standing position, but that is going to be all the time for today's class. Um, so um, we do have more classes all week. So we got 12 o'clock classes every day. Um, I'll be teaching every day this week. So we got lots of my classes going on. Um, we got lots of other ones going on. We got yoga right after this. We got yoga tomorrow at 12:30. Um, so if you want to take one of those ones, we do also have four o'clock classes the next two days as well. So um, you can find all of that on SharePoint. Um, and you can keep up with us on Slack at hashtag Exos. But thank you for coming. Nice job, and I'll see you soon.